Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make your makeup makeup. If you know, you know. I'll be honest, I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now. Like, a lot. A lot of products went into this. But I'm gonna show you how to make it look natural and glowy and not make it look like you're wearing cake on your face and not make it look creasy. I just wanna show you all my little tips and tricks. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and let's jump into it. Here's my drink of choice today. An ice cold water out of a frenemies cup. This is something I will cherish and keep forever. Skincare is first. I have nothing on my skin. I have a little lip liner on and lip balm because my lips looked really just crusty and like white today. Starting off with my three favorite makeup priming base products. The Rode Skin Milk. It's a very thin essence -y consistency that just like glides onto the skin and gives you this amazing Gorgeous hydration. The Road Barrier Rich Cream. It is just a standard basic moisturizer, but it's so thick and amazing, but it's not greasy. And lastly, the Tatcha Serum Stick is insane for under the eyes. It's just a really nice little balmy stick, and I like to put it right under the eyes. You can even use it on any dry spots on your face. That is my perfect hydrated, bouncy base. My skin feels really supple and soft and hydrated. I have two foundation favorites. One is high-end, one is drugstore. For House Labs, I use shade 230. It's a really gorgeous foundation. It photographs so nicely. Honestly, this is my top foundation of all time. And then there's the L'Oreal True Match Nude. I wear shade 4.5 slash 5.5. And I'm gonna use this today because it is super affordable. It's under $20. I will link it down below. This is just such a nice foundation. It's really glowy, but still has coverage. And I love the applicator, even though I probably shouldn't touch that to my face. It's okay. I'm the only one using these products, so it doesn't really matter. I like to kind of just spread it like this a little bit. If you're trying to opt for that full coverage, like really flawless doll look, I would stick with a kabuki brush versus a beauty sponge because the beauty sponge is going to pick up product whereas the brush is going to maintain the coverage and just give you a really perfect finish. I'm going to add just a little bit more on my cheeks because I have rosacea. My cheeks are always red, unfortunately. But what I was going to say is I don't think that packing on a thick high coverage foundation is necessarily what's going to give you that perfect flawless makeup look i honestly think it lies more in the concealer and the way you do your concealer and your contour that is what's going to give you that perfect finish so right now i'm just kind of providing a really glowy nice base for that concealer in the contour because you guys are going to see it transforms the face this hair is just acting really crazy. The concealer I'm going to use today is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I have the shade 175W. This is a really gorgeous, like, semi-matte concealer. It's very velvety. That's where I like to put my concealer to sculpt the face. You guys can totally do it your way, but for me this really does the trick i have a very round face so i like to lift the face and sculpt it in a very particular way and this is just what works best for me and once again i would stick with a brush just to give you that full coverage very precise vibe and this is where the sculpting really begins i'm not like really moving the product a lot I'm just like kind of blending it and diffusing the edges while maintaining the coverage. Notice how I'm sculpting out the nose with the concealer. This is called inverse contouring and it just means that you're going in with a lighter color to give the illusion that you contoured with the darker color basically. Now that we have a really rough blend, then I like to go in with the beauty sponge. This is damp, but not wet, like by any means. And this is when I go in 
and I refine the work. So I'm just blending, softening, just kind of tapping over everything and making those edges like literally blend into nothing. Like you can see how there's a faint line, but it's nothing crazy. On to bronzing and sculpting. This is the Persona Cosmetics. This is their bronze multi-stick in the shade Dune. Just taking some on the brush, you're more than welcome to take the stick right to the face, but for me, I like to use brushes as my tool and just get that really seamless finish. We don't want to pick up any product. I'm starting right where the hollow of my cheek is. I never blend down, only up. I'm gonna do half my face so you guys can see the difference. I like to go right here in the front of the brow and back towards the temple and a little on the jawline. I know this looks crazy because I didn't do the other half, but here's one side bronzed and here is the more flat side. If you are a different skin tone to me, darker or lighter, uh, Persona also has a lighter and darker shade, obviously. The formula is just really good. One thing I think people are scared of is wearing too much makeup in general. I just think that if you use the right tools, like good brushes, good sponges, and good technique, you can get away with a lot of makeup. Like, I wear a lot of makeup when I go full glam, and people don't even really... I don't think clock it because I feel like I'm using techniques that just allow it to look really natural. I'm going in with my sponge again just to diffuse those edges once again, especially under the eyes. You want to make sure you are picking up any extra product with your sponge and just blending out everything. This will really help with creasing. For cream blush, I'm going in with Fleurotique from Pat McGrath. This is a super hydrating formula. They used it backstage at the Maison Margiela show for the makeup. It's a balm texture and it has a really natural finish. And I just love this color. I like to focus blush right up here on the cheekbone. And then I lightly diffuse it into the cheek and up the temple. Then into the hairline a little. I also go over the nose. This might look a little intense now, in my opinion it doesn't, but for you guys, it might seem a little intense, but I promise blush fades first, and I always want more. I love that so much. The one size powder is crazy. It literally blurs so good. And here's how I'm gonna set my makeup today. I'm just gonna go in with the damp sponge with the powder on it, and I'm gonna kinda bake under my eyes down the sides of the nose I also am gonna bake by my smile lines and on that pimple because it's huge I like to bake in the area that I get the most oily so for me that is right here that's where my pores are the biggest and then I also like to bake under my eyes because I feel like it just gives me that really perfect under eye that's something I'm really big on with my makeup is my under eyes and I feel like I've mastered it pretty well. Also gonna bake a little in between the brow and the chin. Now a lot of people would go in maybe with their bronzer right away on top of this, but I always set my whole face with powder before I do any bronzing because I feel like when I bronze over stickiness, it just looks like not seamless it just it sticks in some places it skips in others i go in with a big fluffy brush this is my dibs beauty brush and i'm just literally taking this kosas powder in shade feathery it's like translucent basically and i just like to go over the face with this kind of dusting away a little bit as well set my eyelids while we're at it i mean I just like to go in with this and I promise it doesn't look cakey, it just sets everything. After I let that powder sit for a bit, I dust it away. I really love this little Real Techniques brush, it is the setting brush. It just perfectly fits on the face. At this point you're going to be like, okay I look really flat and just like lifeless and that is the point, okay? 
this is like our building block base the most important next step you guys you cannot miss this step it is literally crucial to this whole situation you have to drench your face so i know this is a charlotte tilbury bottle but this is actually mac fix plus in here um i had an issue with the sprayer of the fix plus so i just put it in this empty bottle i literally just like to drench my face you want all those powders to literally just like melt i know it feels wrong but it will look so right see how it's bringing some life back i'm gonna do my brows super quick i just like to use this anastasia brow pencil i use shade dark brown now i'm using the refi brow tint in the shade black to bronze and do my blush i have been obsessed with this hourglass palette this is the ambient like snake one i'm pretty sure it's an ulta exclusive i'll link it down below but this bronzer is insane it's stunning and i just like to pop it on like that this brush is the makeup by mario dual ended brush it's just like the perfect brown bronzer Whenever I'm freshly tanned, it's like a really nice just color. I also like to put a little on the nose right here, but we are about to contour it. Then I'll get back to the blush. If you watch my videos, you know the one size little contour palette. This cool shade on the top is my go-to nose contour color. It's very similar to Hoola by Benefit, but I've just been tried and true to this one. So for my nose, I like to go underneath. I like to go right here, make it like a little button. And then starting from the top of the brow, I will do the bridge like that. And it's gonna look harsh, but I'm gonna blend it, so. After I contour, it's always a little messy, so I take a little powder and just kind of like let it bake for a bit. And you guys, I promise, this is going to give you the most insane nose contour ever. Also, just going to take a little here. Why not? Back to this palette. This palette is so good, you guys. Just trust me. So for blush, I kind of like to just mix the middle two. If you like more of a warm tone, this one will be really great for you. But just kind of mixy-mixy. They are pigmented, so just use a light hand. But I just, again, like to kind of focus it on the cheekbone and work it up. Honestly, I think my number one key to just having natural looking makeup-y makeup is glowy products. So you'll notice that this blush has a sheen. All of these have a sheen. The blush has a sheen. The bronzer has a sheen. That is the key for me to not look cakey. If I was putting on a matte blush, a matte bronzer, a matte powder, matte foundation, you're gonna look, you're gonna look dry. You're gonna look like you haven't had water in all day. I'm so sorry if the lighting keeps changing, you guys. I'm using a lot of natural light today, along with little ring light. So, just out of my, it's out of my control. I'm also gonna take a little of the bronzer and pop it on the eyes as well. This will really tie in everything. This product is my holy grail right now for getting luscious skin. It's the Dibs Beauty Pop Star Blush, and I love using the really light pink side. And I use it as a blush topper. And guys, mm, I'm sorry. Look at that. It's crazy. Again, like using glowy products is what is gonna change the game. Because my makeup is completely matte right now. Like, it's not wet or, like, damp by any means. It's not going anywhere. Another holy grail. I talked about this in a few videos. This is the um, Hourglass Brilliant Strobe Light. Watch how this transforms the base. It's not really a highlighter. It's, like, a really finely milled glowy powder. Putting it on all the high points of my face. 
guys i'm obsessed this is where i like to spray my face again melt those powders even further then i go in with my freck and this is one of my tricks to kind of tricking people that i'm not wearing a lot of makeup i can make them look semi-realistic you know I make little beauty marks. I put them in the same place every single time so that it's consistent. And to highlight the nose, I go in with the Rare Beauty in the shade Mesmerized. And oh, this is like the perfect finishing touch for me at least. It's just so good. Guys, this lighting is crazy. Like it keeps changing every five seconds. I'm really sorry. I really am. On the eyes, you guys know the drill. I'm just taking a little light brown and doing a little tiny wing. You guys can totally customize your eye look for this base look however you want. Curling my lashes. This is the Kevin Aquan curler and it's really good. Then I'm using the Fan Fest by Benefit. I'm so into like the no lash look lately. Um, of no lash extensions and just a little mascara. I think it's so fresh on the lips I'm gonna use nude 11 by skin And a little nude 14 And for gloss I'm using summer Fridays. This is in the shade pink cloud All right guys, here's the final look I'm wearing a shitload of makeup. I actually am. Like, you guys saw all the products I use. This is not, like, a two-product makeup look by any means. But in my Delulu opinion, this is giving natural beauty, like, yourself but better, enhancing your natural features. Do you know what I mean? Again, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I look like a cake face, but I don't think I do. Use glowy products. Stay away from all matte products, even though you might think you need them try this and let me know what you think all right i love you guys this this um lighting is just being insane so i'm gonna go um i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video that was a big one